Hi, I... I am having the strangest day, and I'll tell you why. Do you ever... I, I've been having this thing. Uh, I keep thinking my phone is vibrating in my... Uh, in my pants. I think... And I'm, I don't even have my phone with me. And I'm... I, like, I, I thought, this is weird, and I took all of my clothes off, you know. It's part of my preparation for the show. And I, I thought, and it's still vibrating. It's not vibrating now, it's kind of, I think the minute you turn the camera on, it goes away. But I can feel the vibration sometimes and there's, there's no phone there. Is that a thing that happens now? Are people getting that? People are, it's like fan, you, you get that too? That's like two of us now. It's an epidemic. I think what happens is you, you I, and I, sometimes I like it when my phone's on vibrate. <laughs> That's right, I'm a pervert. <laughs> oh, there's something wrong with that, is there? Actually, there is, isn't there? No, it depends on what it is. I don't, I don't get sexually excited by my telephone, uh, not unless there's somebody in the other line going, you're so hot. I... <laughs> That's right, I'm sexually attracted to Pat O'Brien. <laughs> so, what was Pat O'Brien done that? Yeah, yeah. Where, where is he now? Back on TV. Oh, is he back on TV? What's he doing? Same thing? Yeah. Good for him. <laughs> he could do this pretty easily. He, he wouldn't come on and talk about how his pants were vibrating with the phone. <laughs> Actually, he might. Yeah, yeah, he might. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what that is. So if there's any doctors watching tonight and you know what the name of this uh, phantom phone vibration thing is, don't bother telling me. <laughs> Because it may be sick, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Unless it's a sign of something horrible. Like, you know, if, if like, first your leg starts to vibrate, then your ass falls off, then I... <laughs> Although, if some of my ass falls off, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Maybe it's something to do with the robot being here, the robot sidekick being here. That might be that. Maybe I've caught some kind of, uh, you know... Do you think I've... Do you think... Uh, does that... Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm not sure about that robot. Uh-oh! Yeah, oh, it was right. <laughs> oh, maybe I do. Did you find out what it's called? Phantom Vibration Syndrome. It's called Phantom Vibration Syndrome? There's a name for it? Yeah. Gee. <laughs> it, it can kill you. Can it kill you, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, then, this is my last show. <laughs> should I, I should really see a doctor then. Oh, well, there's a, a very long commercial break coming up. <laughs> and we may be back, but we may not. <laughs> well, you, you, you'll probably be back. I... <laughs> I might not be back, apparently. No, I'm worried. I'm going to, it's going to be on my mind for the rest of the show. I won't be able to do it. Raquel Welsh is here as well. How the hell am I meant to do with that? You know what? You know what? I, uh, that might be what's causing it. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Expedia. More ways to save and more hotel options. Expedia, where you book matters. Thanks, everybody. 
to go. That's it. Thanks. No, please try and save some for later in the show because it's a, it it really is crap tonight. Um, <laughs> I'm not lying. Everybody, you think I'm lying about this crap. I, I know this show is crap, but... <laughs> but... It's our crap. <laughs> it's one of those crazy things that we keep around. We don't really need it anymore, but we love it. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody, yes it is. Hey, hey, whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, Jeff's yeah. Ex yeah, Jeff's excited. He went down, to, uh, he was at the prices right today, weren't you, Jeff? Row, 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 row. He's settling in. Anyway, it's a great, it's a great day today in America. I'll tell you why, because it's the 80th anniversary of the hostess Twinkie. <laughs> yep, the Twinkie. Please, all right, all right, that's enough. The Twinkie. Oh, we're not really enthusiastic, but but we really hate awkward pauses. The Twinkie was invented uh, back in 1930. Now, I don't mean the actual brand. I mean the actual Twinkies that are in stores now. They were made in 1930, and they just made a giant batch of Twinkies, and we've been living off them ever since. Today's a great day, by the way, if you're a lizard. Now, to the... I'm not allowed to talk to American lizards all of a sudden. <laughs> now, to the people who are in the studio audience here, the hobos, as I call them. <laughs> to, the, to these people here, uh, a lizard is nothing but a quick-moving meal. But, but to the rest of society... <laughs> the rest of society, to regular folks, a lizard is a shining example of nature's bounty. And yesterday... I'm very excited. You know I love the animals. A, a new species of lizard was discovered in the Philippines. Look at this headline. Look. Giant lizard discovered in the Philippines. That's how the Associated Press reported the story. <laughs> but you see, for, for some newspapers, that's not enough. There's a popular newspaper in Britain. It's called The Sun, right? Now, they print... It's a tabloid. They print serious news on the first two pages. Then on page three, it's boobies. Sometimes ladies. <laughs> And this is how they reported the lizard story. Look at this. <laughs> Two penis lizard shocks, Bob. <laughs> let me explain, let me explain. <laughs> boffins is what English people call scientists. And apparently these boffins were shocked that a lizard has two penises. <laughs> You should be shocked with that if you're a proper scientist or boffin, because most lizards and snakes have bilobed reproductive organs. Me, that means basically that two two sets of gentles, uh, gentlemen's equipment on all. Do you didn't know that, did you? Ah, well, it's true. <laughs> yes, that's why I got the Peabody because I knew that. Now, this explains. All right, all right. But. This, this explains a lot about lizards. It explains why gentlemen lizards don't bother spending a lot of time on their appearance. <laughs> Hello, love. I may be a bit of a lizard. My skin's a bit scaly, but check this out! Yay! <laughs> That's right, lizards speak in Cockney accents. <laughs> I learned that from an insurance commercial. <laughs> I wouldn't like having two penises, though. I, I get into enough trouble with the one. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know where to keep it. <laughs> anyway, if you forget about the, the penises for a minute, the giant... Uh, and who can, really? But let's try. This, the giant lizard is a very freaky-looking thing. It's six foot tall, it's got a huge head, it's got weird, bright colouring. Do we have a picture of it? Oh, come on! That's not it. No, I'm on. A, a picture of the real lizard. Come on, show me. Show, look at that thing. I know! And it's got two penises. <laughs> Now, what does it say about our society that we know every single detail about Lindsay Lohan's drug habit or Brangelina's marriage, but, but there are still uh, six-foot lizards walking around that we haven't even discovered yet? Come on, everybody. Pay attention to things that are important, like big lizards with two penises. <laughs> Now, apparently, the, the lizard was found hiding in a forest. He's very reclusive, this lizard. He's the, uh, he's the, um, the J.D. Salinger of the Philippines, this lizard. 
if J.D. Salinger was a lizard and had two penises. <laughs> but if he had had two penises, he wouldn't have written anything. He'd have just go, catch her in the... Oh, who gives a crap? <laughs> How much would you write if you had two penises? You'd be like, oh, I don't need to write anything. I got two penises! <laughs> anyway, boffins, you know, scientists, boffins. I'm going to start saying boffins. It sounds good. Boffins say that, that deforestation in the Philippines is threatening all kinds of species. And they, who knows what undiscovered animals are lurking in these very forests. There could be unicorns or hobbits, maybe. Or there could be more Baldwins that we don't even know about. <laughs> You see them all over L.A., the Baldos. They're adorable. They come around, they go into the garbage and everything. They're adorable. They think they're people. <laughs> anyway, I'm surprised they haven't given the, the new lizard a name yet. Because they'll, 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 they'll name him after the dude that discovered him. That's probably something like Steve the Lizard or something. <laughs> That's why guys become scientists, to discover stuff and name it after themselves. They don't become scientists to meet girls. You don't say, hey, baby, want to go back to my place and see my six-foot lizard? <laughs> actually, actually, that, that might work. <laughs> now, the biggest lizard of all, of course, is the dinosaur. The word dinosaur is Greek for terrible lizard. That's what it means. What are you laughing at, hobos? That's true. <laughs> When do we get our chicken? I'll tell you when you get your chicken. <laughs> now, my, my son is just at the age now, he's, he's almost nine years old, he loves dinosaurs. Every young boy, when you're about nine years old, you always love dinosaurs, I did. It's just a thing that you got. Now, he's always shown me pictures of dinosaurs and asked me what their names are, and I don't know. So I just make stuff up. <laughs> and that son is a thesaurus. <laughs> That dinosaur can tell you any word and another word that means the same as that word. Do you know who called himself a lizard? Uh, Jim Morrison from The Doors. He was sexy. He used to say, I am the lizard king. I can do anything. He didn't say it like that. He was sexy. He wasn't like a creepy guy coming around your house. But like The Doors wouldn't have been famous if he went, uh, uh, You know that it would be untrue. You know I would be a liar. <laughs> All right, we've got to go to the commercial break now. I, I noticed that Jeff's got a podium, though, tonight. We settling in. He's doing the sidekick. It's very nice, Jeff. I like your podium, Jeff. I, uh... You settling in? You feel, feeling happy about being here now, Jeff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's doing well, actually. Yeah, this is this is going to work out. As long as you just keep him away from me, we'll be all right. <laughs> oh, you think you're just great, don't you? <laughs> I will unplug that bastard. I will unplug it. We'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. Spanish word of the day. Today's word is salchichas. Salchichas. So. Salchichas. If you know anything about me, you know I like to uh, I like to include the Spanish word of the day in a sentence that helps me remember it uh, later in life. For example, the lizards. <laughs> Dos salchichas. Dos. Dos. I always wondered why lizards look so smug. <laughs> All right, um, we have to uh, do the, yeah, you better play the jingle. Go on. The tweets and the emails. Do you think I should check the tweets and the check emails? Check that Jeff? tweet and check that. 
Eight mile. <laughs> He's a spunky little bastard, isn't he? He's coming along. I think you're better over there by your podium. Are you enjoying Oh, it? yeah. Yeah, I think so. Good for you, Jeff. You stay over there. All right. Oh. Yeah, careful. All right. This is a tweet. This is, uh, you can tell it's a tweet because it's got a cockatoo on it, except this is not a cockatoo, it's an eagle, but you know what I mean. <laughs> the whole boys are like, when do we get our chicken? <laughs> that bird reminded me of the promise of chicken. Uh, Carol in Milwaukee, Oregon says, uh, Craig, uh, April 7th is National Coffee Cake Day. Did you get yours today? I did, but I didn't get any coffee cake. Hi, hi, hi! <laughs> All right, this is from Met in Copenhagen. Oh! <laughs> Copenhagen in Denmark. Is that right? Oh, thank God for that. All right, uh... <laughs> now, you can tell it's a tweet, the cockatoo. Um... Uh, she says, Dear Craig, I have the opportunity to go either to Sweden or Moscow this summer. How do I decide which one? That's tricky. I've been to... Well, Sweden's a country and Moscow is a town. Um, so you could probably cover more ground in Moscow. I, I've been to Moscow. Um, I've been to Sweden as well. Meta. I don't know if Meta is a... Is that a Danish dude or girl or... What is that? It doesn't... It doesn't it, Look, the women are really all in either place, to be honest. Um, so, if you're a lesbian, I'd go to... Actually, I'd go to San Francisco if you're a lesbian. Uh, um, I would. Here's, a, here, here's one. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an email from Gloria in Cape Cod, which is in Massachusetts. Um, is it? Yes, and lizards have two penises. <laughs> Thanks, Peabody Committee. <laughs> Gloria says, uh, hello, Craig. I've been single for five years. I am ready for a relationship. What do I do to meet a man? One word for that girl, cleavage. <laughs> you know, it's not, it, it's not rocket science. Men are attracted to cleavage. They, uh, they, you know, they, after that, you can get on with the whole getting to know you and finding out if he's clean and all that kind of stuff. But, but first of all, in order to, in order, like, it's just an animal thing. It's like in the wild, a male lizard will attract other female lizards by showing his two penises. It says, <laughs> because God forbid that a female lizard should say, only one penis, I'll go elsewhere, thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's an obvious question has arisen in my mind. If a male has two penises, then... Well, it's a legitimate question. Is it... Do you know? To, oh, you can find out quickly about vibrating leg syndrome, but you can't find out about a real thing. Well, I don't know, actually. I don't know if, if lady lizards are living the dream. Ooh, it's gone pretty far south, the show tonight, hasn't it? <laughs> all right, we'll do one more then, and we can cut all the crap out. Um, this is from... Uh, if we cut all the crap out, actually, there'll be nothing left. <laughs> this is from Andrew in Calgary in Canada. Andrew says, uh, Dear Craig, have you ever been to an LA Kings hockey game? You know I have. <laughs> Canadians are always finding a way to bring up hockey right now. Why do you think that is? You bastards. <laughs> I know exactly why. All right, you won. You won fair and square. Thank you very much. We'll see you in four years. <laughs> when we have our new team of robot skeletons. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah. My next guest is the uh, author of an autobiography, which means it's a book about her. 
It's called Raquel Beyond the Cleavage, and it will debut this week. Cleavage! <laughs> Sorry, when I hear that word, I just have to shout it out. <laughs> Even if I'm the one who says it. <laughs> cleavage! Cleavage! <laughs> This buke, this buke, yes, it's that fancy. You can't even call it a book. You have to call it the buke. This buke will debut at number three on the New York Times bestseller, like the... Yes. My Craig, Lord, Craig, woman. Craig, Craig. Yeah, yes? Uh, nothing, really. All right, no, I was, I, I was just going to say, you look sensational. You, uh, Thank you're you. Just, wow. We do our best. No, yeah, yeah. Well, you're all doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. This uh, is, you're but I don't have any penises. Um, well, we, 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 we can get hold of one for you, probably. <laughs> Are we, uh... <laughs> you know, Every I'm, time you're on the show, I'm kind of like... Oh, 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 oh. No, but I, I think I figured out why the lizard has two penises. Oh, really? Why? Uh, because when the female lizard has sex with that lizard, right. she probably bites off the first penis and there has to be a spare. <laughs> Don't you think? Bites off the first penis. <laughs> well, you know, women can be kind of predatory from time to time. Yes, I, I didn't think I could be more attracted to you, but I am. <laughs> but I was just talking about cleavage tonight, which I never do on this show. <laughs> and I was talking about, and you, this, your book's called Beyond a Cleavage. You yes. probably know that because you wrote it. Yes, I, I did write it. Yeah, actually, there was a whole big doodah about the title of the book because they wanted to call it something much more banal. And I just, you know, I got together with a bunch of friends of mine. I said, we've got to find a fun title. And suddenly we came up with this one, called the publisher, and they said, oh, God, no. No? Oh, what's wrong with these people? They're going to be offend all the women out there. And I thought, why? Women aren't offended by cleavage, no, they no. have them. <laughs> no. it's, it's, if your husband's got a cleavage, you're offended. It's not. <laughs> no, I, th I, I think. I don't have a husband. You, no, you don't? No, 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 no. no. I've, I've, you, you, you. Well, we went through that, yeah. I yeah. don't have a husband. I don't, I don't have number five yet. Have you been married four times? Yes, yes. Uh, I've been married uh, three. Well, I'm on, I'm on number three and I'm staying at three. That's it. Uh, Two, safe. And yeah. you, you've been married since I last saw you. Yes, you since married. you were last year, I well, got married. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much indeed. I, uh, and here it is. Uh, just uh, proof. Yes, yes. You know. uh, please, uh, I'm keeping a distance because it's one of the new remote ones. It can give you an electric shock. <laughs> It has a GPS system installed in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, so are you, have you been doing the round selling this thing? Are you doing book sales? I have, and I have. I don't know if you can tell I'm a little husky. I thought it was just it was super sexiness. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I lost my voice. I was all over. I was in New York City and we did all this book tour thing. I'm sure you've been there and done that. I have. It's yes. very, very grueling. It's lots of fun, but it's just very grueling. I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> did you think it was fun? Yes, I did. Really? Yes. Were you I, on the view? No, I wasn't. Well, on the that's view why you thought it was fun. <laughs> No, um, I was on Oprah, though, and, uh, wow. and yes, and, no. and she was lovely with me. And then I went to New York, and, and, and um, I was on GMA, and that, um, that um, George Stephanopoulos, he's rather cute, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's short, though, isn't he? <laughs> Sorry, I'll just have some of my saucer of milk. <laughs> Anyway, it, you, I, got, you got I one of these? You got one of these? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, oh well, it, it, no, it's a snake, not a serp, not a not a um, not a lizard. lizard. No, no, there's, there's So this one doesn't have the uh, two penises. No, no, no it's uh, <laughs> it's actually not even a real snake. It's just uh, it's a ceramic facsimile of a snake. Yeah, yeah. I would say a cobra. I think it's a cobra. Have you ever have you ever uh, held a snake in your hand? No, I haven't. Uh, not a snake. What have you, what have you held? <laughs> I have to say. What happened? What happened? 
Whenever I get around you, everything yes, has a you know, double know. entendre thing. Terrible things come to mind. Yeah, no, well, I think that's good, though. Yes, now, what, what, is, what is the message of it? Is it just the story of your life? Is, it, is that what it is? No, it's, it's not really the story of my It's kind of part autobiographical. It right. tells about my, you know, my childhood, my upbringing and everything, and kind of traces all the different stages that a woman goes through, from childhood to young woman, you know, and puberty. You know, there's a lot of things that women are interested in, so it's kind of a book for women and for men who want to know more about women. So that's just about everybody then, isn't it, really? <laughs> There's not a man on earth that goes, I know all about women, I'm good, I got all the information I need, thank well, you. You probably want to skip the part about menopause, but... Oh, I mean, yeah, well, I don't, I mean, I, I, yeah, probably, I don't, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I just, uh, I don't know how I can help in that regard. <laughs> uh, yeah, stay out of the way, probably, would be the thing to do. Do you know that poster of you in the bikini? Yes. That you signed for me? Yes. It's still hanging up in the green room here. Did you oh, know that? Yeah. No, I didn't see it. Oh, great. And you know when you signed the mirror in my dressing room? Yes. And when you were here last? Yes. It's still there. I won't let them clean it oh, off. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah. I like that. But yeah. that is not the behavior of a married man. Well, you weren't. I was married when you signed the thing oh, on okay. the third. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to take it down now? <laughs> I'll put Don't aside all Megan. my things now. <laughs> No, I, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all right, isn't it? To oh, do that? yes, absolutely. What, I'm, kind of, I'm what kind of man flattered. are you looking for for number five, by the way? Oh, gosh, help me. Uh, <clears throat> I don't, I, I'm really not looking too much. Really? No, not, not really, not really scanning the horizon or anything, no. I figure he'll show up. Well, I, I'm sure he will, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, wouldn't you, don't you have some kind of idea of what you're, you're looking for, something younger, oh, something older, mm, something mm, fat, not, thin? No, you know. we, I think, well, you know, the younger men are not all they're cracked up to be, so, I mean, I think it would be nice to be with somebody, maybe, in their 60s, you know, my sort of age, but all the guys at that age want to be with 30-year-old chicks, so that sort of... I don't know if that's true. You're no. Raquel Wells, for God's sake. <laughs> You know, it really, it really doesn't matter. You know, in real life, it doesn't. It's sort of, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. It's just the same old, same old. You know, it's difficult to find the perfect person. And congratulations that you found such a lovely young woman in Megan, and you were able to, you know, have well, another wife. <laughs> well, I, I mean, think I'm bleeding. Three? What? This is the third one, yeah. Yes, you see, you're, yeah. you're, you're catching up with me. Yes, you'll yes, see, I am. You'll see, it's hard when when number four goes, and then you have to look to number no, five. No, 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 I, you go, I, what have I'm I not, not going tried? beyond, uh, uh, Raquel, I'm not going beyond three, that's it, I'm done. All right, uh, I'm yes. done, I'm, uh, that's it. I have said that, too. <laughs> what one did you say that one? Oh, I, I've said it each time. I All said, right, this okay. is it, this is it. And then when you get to number five, you say, what haven't I tried? You know. Yeah, I, I said that in Amsterdam. <laughs> oh. And then I tried it. Uh, and I wished I hadn't. Well, listen, congratulations on that. I Thank mean, getting you. A number three on the best sell. Is that Yes, oh, I'm really this. excited about that. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, just the girl in that bikini, you know, she actually wrote a book all by myself. You did? You didn't use a ghostwriter? No, or I didn't. No, Good I didn't. for you. I slaved over it. Oh, it's hard, like, isn't it? I've yes, done it twice you, now. I, yeah, oh. I thought it was three times. No, I've, I've read one and wrote two. <laughs> I, no, I, I, no, I don't, I wouldn't write another one. And you one. were on the bestseller list too, right? Uh, yeah, I came on the number four. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah What that's, a shame. Yeah, no, it's terrible. But you got the Peabody Award for it your does, show, it, which is very prestigious. Yeah, it is, yeah. 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 Which, you can't you. have everything. Did you make, by the way, uh, we're out of time, but I want to say, you met the, uh, the robot skeleton then. Yes, you? I did. Yeah. I, I gave him a little... Hi! Speech. How are you? Yeah. Hi. I, yeah, I, I, I've got a feeling he might be gay. I'm not sure. Rock, Cal, make Jeff horny. Rock, Cal, makes what? Rock, Cal, make Jeff Cal horny. Make oh, Jeff oh, horny. All right, all right, all right. That's not quite how you go after a woman. Well, I was going to say he didn't give the gay vibe when I was over. No, I guess not. He doesn't give out the gay vibe now, Raquel. Oh, Mick. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to get rid of him. Uh.
<laughs> anyway, look, it's lovely to see you again. Congratulations Thank on you. the enormous success of this. And, and you look as beautiful as ever. It's lovely to see Thank you. Thank you very much. Raquel Wells, everybody. Raquel. There's never any retakes. What we do is right there. There's no way I would come on after a commercial break, make a complete balls up of an introduction, and then say, oh, we better do that again. That would never happen. And you know why that would never happen? Because we don't have the money for that kind of thing. <laughs> no. My next guest stars in Fringe on Thursday nights on Fox. <laughs> Take a look at this. I was hoping you'd have a few minutes to talk. Sure. Why don't you come in? to see you. I'm so, you look fantastic, Thank by the you. way. May I say, I'm, I'm so sorry about what happened last week. I, that's fine. I'm so impressed that you really did stick to your word I and, did. And, I and put wore the, suit the same back suit. On. I, <laughs> and I very rarely do that on this show because once I've worn a suit, it's gone. Really? <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah, that's that, nice. That, uh, but that you... more than makes up for it. Oh, well, that's, that's lovely. Uh, do I detect an accent in your voice? Yes, I'm Australian. Oh, but I'm my, sorry. My family is Scottish, actually. Your family is Scottish yes. with a name like Torv? Well, the other side of the ah, family. Ah, right. Well, what, is, what is Torv? That's kind of a robot name, isn't it? <laughs> No, Torv is Estonian, but, my, mother, Estonian. but my mother's side is Carmichael. And that's, Carmichael? Yeah, ah, the that's... famous Carmichaels of Scotland. Of Leith, yeah. Leith? I think that, that's yeah. near Edinburgh. That's yeah. that's the port town of Edinburgh. Yeah. Have you been to Scotland? I have. I went to the. Um, I, I've only been there one time. I went to the Edinburgh Festival one time, which yeah, was yeah. amazing. Yeah, It's very good. And yeah. all the stand up there is. Yeah, there's a lot of stand up crazy, comedians there. Yeah. Some of them good. Yeah. yeah. Some of them. Yeah. <laughs> Though everyone's good by the time you get there during yeah. this, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of or Peruvian really flute bands. If you like Peruvian flute bands, there's one on every street corner. At the Edinburgh Festival. Yeah, all the time. Do, 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 I just remember they have all these different tents, and there's like the big cow, and they call it the big udder, and it's just the big purple cow with these huge. You, you, that's all I remember. Is this in Estonia or in. No. This is in Edinburgh. I, I, that might have happened. I, when I was there, and I was there a lot in the 1980s, but. Mm, right. Mm, I was kind of Australian. Then. Right. Yes. <laughs> That's, is that, that's, that's kind of, that's a ridiculous stereotype of Australia, isn't it? That you drink a lot and fight and, uh, you know, enjoy barbecued shrimps. <laughs> no, it's real. I don't know. <laughs> well, do you drink a lot and fight and enjoy barbecued shrimp? Uh, uh, sometimes. Yeah, I think all right. Australians do, I think that it's a stereotype because it's a little bit true, I think. Yeah, well, there's always usually a little bit of something in there. Yeah. Like Scottish people sometimes, sometimes enjoy a drink, too. Yeah. <laughs> What part of Australia are you from? <laughs> um, my family's from Queensland. Queensland? I, yeah, from the Gold Coast, which is like, it's like a, I don't even know what the comparison of the Gold Coast is here in America. But we, I grew up in the hinterland, so... In hinterland? Little, yeah. I like saying some things you say, you know, just yeah. to make sure... I'm... In the hinterlands, we had chooks, or chooks, you would say. Chooks? Chooks, what's yeah. A, what's a chook? Like chickens. Oh, a chicken. No, yeah. we say chicken here in America. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. Not short. Chicken, yeah, yeah. We that's a uh, whoa. It's we've been saying that for months now. Chickens. <laughs> do you? Do, but you say chook, we so say you chooks. go like you have Kentucky Fried Chook and that kind of thing. Or? Yeah. Or we'll go and pick up a barbecue chook. Barbecue chook. Yeah. Really? Yes. Do you have any other words I should know about? 
not, I've been not, to Australia. Not related to poultry, no. Well, I, I went to Australia a couple of times. No one mentioned choke to me. Where did you go, though? I went to Adelaide, and I went to Melbourne, and I went to Sydney. And I, 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 in every place, everyone said, would you like a bit of chicken? Really? <laughs> Maybe it is just a Queensland thing. Queensland? Why do they call it Queensland? I don't know. Oh, I do. Do you really? No, I <laughs> I think it was because, you know, when it was a colony, the Queen said, I I'll take all of this land in. And she still has it. I remember the Prime Minister when I was there was a guy called Bob. And I thought, well, I like this country. They only going, oh, yeah, Bob, the Prime Minister, he's over there. Yeah. Then you'd look down the bar and Bob would be like, good night. Yeah. And I thought, look, that's the way to run a country informally. You know, they'd be like, all right, Bob, he'd like, you bet. And... Do you remember Bob, Bob Hawke, his name was? I do, he? I remember yeah. Bob Hawke. Yeah, is he still around, is he? Um, yeah, he's still around. He's I'm not the amazed. Prime Minister anymore. No, yeah, no, you've got, you got to change it up every few years, I think, you yeah. know, in order to uh, be part of the United Nations, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, so how long have you, are you in here, or are you in L.A., or are you We're in... in Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver. Yeah. That's where you make the Fringe show in Vancouver? Yeah. Do you like it been, up there? I do. We were in New York for the first season, and in the second season, we were in Vancouver. Right. And it's beautiful. In I Vancouver, love it. very nice. Canadians yeah. are lovely, aren't they? We have some... I think you did a show there. I did. And I think some of our crew worked on that. Worked on the show that I... Yes, yeah. I... Actually, I was, I did a couple of, uh, I was doing a show up there, a uh, filmed show up there, when I got this job. Right. So I had to drive overnight from Vancouver to L.A. in order to start this thing. Oh, really? Was yeah. it beautiful? Because I really want to do it and go through the forest parts, and through... Parts of it are very nice, but don't try and get through Grants Pass in Oregon uh, during the winter. Really? No, because that's, I was on my way here and I, they stopped, I had to sleep in my car overnight. And that car was farty. <laughs> Was it just you? It was just me in the car. <laughs> Bye, anyways. But you know how that thing is where you think it's all right if it's your own? There, there reaches a point where it's not all right. Even if it is your own. You're like, this is not all right even though it's me. <laughs> that's the last of Yeah, thing. that's pretty nasty. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't know that, of course, being beautiful no. and a uh, woman. Being and a girl, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Girls yeah. don't. But I thought Australian women actually did have digestive systems, no? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we, we have to go. We have to go. We're done. Okay. So, uh, you want to do an awkward pause with me? Sometimes I like to do an awkward pause with the oh, guests. Finish sure. up with a nice awkward pause. Fancy that? Let's. All right. Good at them. <laughs> now I'm really awkward. Third marriage. <laughs> If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 213-833-6469 or visit our website at cbs.com. Que chistoso. Yeah. All right. My, I just want to, uh, I want to, uh, Jeff and I would like to apologize to Scott McFadden, wouldn't we? Uh-oh! Yeah, we had to, we had to, we ran out of time, so, what's wrong? Did I, oh, I just said... Uh -oh. oh yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> like you to think to you're Brian. just great, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> My apologies to Brian Scott McFadden, who was going to be on the show today, but we ran out of time because of Jeff's chip. Chit-chat, chitchin chatting. <laughs> <laughs> no, always right. We'll have him back soon. Good night, everybody. Say good night, Jeff. Oh.